it is almost the end of the month and so it's time to plan out my monthly goals and get ready for the next month. Today I'm going to take you through my four step process for planning out my month. This method can be used in any apps or task managers or planner or whatever you need to do. It's just about the method, but I am going to show you how I do this in Notion and in Sansana. So let's get to step number one. And step number one is one that a lot of people miss. This is to review the last month. If you aren't reviewing what you got done in the previous month, then there's not a lot of room for improvement in the next month going forward. You need to get better at looking at the tasks you've completed, see what projects got done, celebrate the wins, learn from the losses, and that way you can use those ideas to move forward into the next month with a clear mind and a clear picture of what needs to happen. So let me show you how I do this in Notion. All right, so we have my Notion template here for my monthly reset. And I do have a free version of this template in the description box if you wanna snag it. It's pretty straightforward though, and you can definitely make something like this for yourself without too much work. So I have two questions that I have built into this Notion template that I ask myself every month. The first one is what worked well? So what did I accomplish? What tasks did I get done that I was proud of? What was I pleased about that got completed this month? And then the next one is what needs work? What were things that I was not so happy with? What are some things that maybe I learned this month? And how can I improve going forward with these same kind of ideas? So I'm gonna take a moment and fill these out. Okay, so step number two, after you've already reviewed everything, is to set new goals for the month. I like to set quarterly goals and yearly goals. So this is a great chance for me to take those yearly goals and break them down into smaller ones for the month specifically. But even if you don't do this, you can have smaller monthly goals. So it's really up to you. Think about what you would have set for New Year's resolutions and ask yourself realistically, what could be completed in the next 30 days? So number two is to set new goals. This is the fun step. This is where you can get creative and you can figure out what exactly you want to do for the next few months. And this is also the time to start getting inspiration. Make your vision board on Pinterest if you want. Build a bulletin board with all of your ideas or just brainstorm a bunch of things that you want to complete this month. Let them be big, let them be giant, because the next step is going to be where we break them down. The next step is to go through my yearly goals. Like I said, I set annual and quarterly goals often. So I have a little toggle here that has my goals that live within it just to review. And then I also have a section to actually plan monthly goals. So I can reference my year and make sure that I am touching on those and completing tasks that need to be done but my monthly goals are standalone goals that either can contribute to the overall yearly goal and be more of like a milestone, or they can just be goals that were specific to this month. For example, one of my financial goals this month is to hit a certain amount of sales in my shop. And that really isn't going to contribute to any yearly goals, but it is something that I think is doable and something I want to consistently work towards this month. So I'm gonna take a moment here and set my monthly goals and then we will run through a few of them. So step number three in our goal setting process is to break it down into different action steps. So instead of just having a big goal like I want to run a 5k, we're going to break it down into each day. What do you need to do every single day so that at the end of the month you can run a 5k? So this is called break it down. You want these tasks to be able to be completed in an hour or so. In a lot of instances, you can actually have it broken down even smaller, such as sending one specific email or writing one outline for a blog post. It doesn't really matter what the task is, but just break it down into its smallest part so that you can check it off and know that you are slowly making progress on that goal. Ideally, for every goal, you should have at a minimum 30 tasks, especially if you're doing something consistently where it's more of a habit. If you're only doing some during the weekday, you should have at least 20 tasks, so on and so forth. It's more important to focus on the consistency of the action of the goal than focusing on just getting the goal done at some point during the month itself. The month goes by fast, so make sure that you are planning your action steps with a little bit of wiggle room in mind for sick days, things that come up, holidays, birthdays, things like that. Okay, so I have my goals laid out for the month. There's quite a few, but a lot of them are all kind of going hand in hand with each other or they were tasks that were already pre-planned. So it's not too overwhelming and a lot of it is all going to work together. So one of the goals that I haven't really accounted for yet or planned for is to have a garage sale. So we've slowly been accumulating all of our things that we want to sell or donate or get rid of. And so this needs to happen soon. So I'm going to open up my upcoming tasks 
and projects list. This is where I can see all the open projects and tasks I have in place right now. And I'm going to create new tasks that will break down the garage sale goal into more of an actionable step. So first thing is going to be to price all of the stuff. We already have a big pile in our living room that needs to go out. So I need to get pricing stickers on everything. Most of the things that we are selling are clothes or things that could be hung on a clothing rack. So I need to find where the clothing rack is. I know we have one and get it all set up and hung up so it's ready to go. I also need to make some signs for the garage sale and put them up around the neighborhood so that way people know when we're going to be doing it. And then a lot of my family lives really close by and they said that they wanted to bring some stuff over for the garage sale when I originally was planning this at the beginning of the summer. So I need to text everyone and let them know to bring everything over. So this is just a super simple way to break this down. This is not necessary in most cases. I know what needs to happen for a garage sale, but if I want to do one and do one soon, then breaking this down into little tasks like this makes it a lot easier for me to make sure it actually gets done. Now that we actually have our goals broken down and in a big list, the next step is number four, to schedule it. This is probably one of the most important steps other than breaking down the actual goals into steps. And the reason for this is because things that are scheduled and on your calendar are more likely to be completed than not. You can schedule this however you'd like. It can be sticky notes on a wall. It can be written down on a calendar in your kitchen. It can be in Google calendars with reminders. Personally, I use Sunsama for this. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment, but just find a way to get this on the schedule and plan what days you're going to do each action step. So now you can review what you complete each day next month. You have set your new goals for the month. You have broken it down into tiny little steps that can be completed little by little and you know what days you're doing each of those steps. This might seem really simple, but when you forget to do this, it's amazing how many of our goals go unfinished just because we didn't take the time to actually plan it appropriately. So the next step is basically to schedule all this out, but you can tell I've kind of been doing that already. And so I have due dates set for some of these. The default was for August 1st, but I can break these down into the dates that I actually want them. And what I'm going to go through and do is go through each of my goals here and make sure that each of my goals is affiliated with a task and then that task is assigned a due date. And the reason I want to do that is because I also use Sunsama during my planning sessions and I want to be able to pull my goals in from Notion into Sunsama. So Notion has a integration with this and basically all I have to do is open up my task database, that's where everything lives. And you can filter these out just like you can in Notion. So I'm going to say where the due date is within the next week. And then essentially I can drag my tasks into Sunsama and actually schedule them on the day. Since Sunsama is what I use every single day when I'm working, then I want all of my tasks to actually live in here. And because of this integration, my plan for my goals can easily go in and be mixed among all of the client tasks that I have all of the emails I need to respond to, any appointments or meetings for the day, and I can see them all in one calendar where it's really easy for me to prioritize and time block out each day and make sure that my goals are also getting done as well as all the other things that just need to happen in life. So what do you think? Is this something that you would actually try for your goals or do you feel like it's kind of unnecessary? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, check out the Creator Essentials playlist on our channel and in the cards. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one. So what do you think? Is this method something that you would actually try? If you like this method and you want to grab some of the templates that I used in this video, check out the links in the description box below. I have a bunch of free Notion templates available to you to help you do this exact same setup in your Notion account. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.